What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into it guys, a huge shout out to Decked for sponsoring today's video. I'm partnering with Deck for their ultimate tailgate giveaway. Just in time for the football season, Deck wants to help you have the ultimate tailgate experience. One lucky winner will get the Deck product of their choice, a Yeti 45 hard cooler, a Traeger Ranger wood pellet grill, and a $500 gas car. It's the Decked Ultimate Tailgate Giveaway. If you guys have been a fan of the channel for a while, you know I absolutely love Decked. It's been a game changer for me, for Banjo, and a ton of my other buddies who love fishing, farming, hunting, anything outdoors, Decked is the product for you. The Decked drawer system is weatherproof, keeping your gear safe from the rain, ice, and snow. Deck makes organizing, accessing everything you need so much easier. Each of Deck's two full bed leg drawers can carry up to 200 pounds of whatever you got. The drawers roll out waist height, giving you easy access to your organized tools and gear. Depending on the season, I load mine up with fishing gear, hunting gear, farming gear. If I'm working on the project like the ranch cabin, for example, I load it with all my power tools, keeping them safe and secure, easily accessible. The best thing about Texas is it keeps your goods secure. If your tailgate's locked, there's literally no way anybody can get in. Deck is 100% made in the USA and backed by a lifetime no hassle warranty. With a second to none customer service team that's ready to answer your questions. So if you want to check out Decked, click the link down in the description down below. Go to decked.com slash flare for a chance to win the end of the summer giveaway. Huge shout out to Deck for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner with that allow me to do I do every single day, which makes videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another video. We are starting the day off early. Not crazy, but like 7 a.m., bam, we got jet-powered kayaks. We are excited. Uh, you guys haven't seen these for a while because you saw the one leak. We think we fixed it. Today is the ultimate test. We're going to actually be using it for a video. I was like, I don't want to be sinking like the freaking Titanics out there. So we need to get it fixed. We finally got it running. We've had a little engine problems with this one, too. So we're getting them dialed in for duck season. But I'm like, we got to take them out. It's a beautiful morning. This is like 197 degrees outside today. So we got up early, getting out here, getting after it. And we are hopefully going to be trying to catch something to eat, some catch and cooks. We got a bunch of new goo Dugan crappie lures. I wouldn't call them prototypes, but y'all don't have them. We have them. We got samples. They're coming out soon. I don't know the exact date yet, but you'll just have to stay tuned for that. So we got everything I think we're going to need. We've got cameras sitting here. We got two Guggen rods right there. This the is old, see, this is the old prototype right there. The old, the old, the old. Oh, I, I almost said green. If I, if, I love crappie. Wow. English is tough. Pink. Yeah. Pink grub and a mini clutch, which is always clutch. So we're geared up with that, and then we've also got brand new Guggen tackle bag. That is loaded up with everything you'd possibly need, including a stringer. We're gonna be maybe, I'm hoping for crappie. Fingers crossed crappie. Those are probably the best tasting fish out here. Or a walleye. We've caught some walleye. They, as you saw the Guggen videos, um, we caught a bunch of crappie and walleye out here. And so we're gonna be fishing out of the jet powered kayaks. If you guys don't know what these are, we made another video with them. These are insane. It's basically a jet ski mixed with a kayak and they go really fast. And they're gonna be the ultimate hunting rig this fall. Super excited to do some hunting videos out of it so you can rip down the mar, shoot them. If you got a cripple or a bird coast and lands, you wanna go pick up your decoys, go 20 miles an hour and go pick them up. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna to get in uh, in one of these bad boys, fingers crossed. I think that we're getting in the leaky one because the other one has engine problems. I'd rather be a little leaky than no engine. And we're gonna to get to dangling. I might just post up, make some casts. We might troll the channel. Either way, our goal is to harvest fish to eat for lunch. Get up, get it done early, go back, fillet it up, and have a delicious lunch. So, with that being said, let's get these kayaks in the water. Yeehaw, brother. All right, boys, we're going stealth mode to start. Oh, hang on now. Got the old Guggen pink grubby dubby dubby. We're on, we're on boys. Oh, what do we got? First fish, I'm guessing bluegill. I'm guessing the old gilly. Let's see it. Oh, let's go. Eater gilly. Sheesh. Look at that big Sheila. That's the old fatty. So the Guggen crappie is not only just for crappie. I mean, oh, hey, say it, don't spray it, buddy. He's still getting it. Why is he peeing? Look at him. E. <laughs> Flowing like Bill Lowen. He will cook up nice. We've already got, ah, oh, yeah. We've already got a little bit of lunch. Not everything we need for lunch, but we got a little bit. Fish on, boys. Fish on the stringer. We didn't have to fire up the motor yet. Little gill daddy. All right, first fish in the boat. 
is a bluegill, not a crappie, on the Guggen crappie. So it's not just for crappie. And I would almost bet, oh, now you did it. Oh, now you did it. Yeah, this is the worst kind of rope to get into. The rope might be a little thick for these scissors, but I think we're gonna make it happen. Yep, <sighs> clean as a whistle. All right, let's get back to dangling. He's <laughs> right here. Oh. I told you the old dead stick. Go, oh. <laughs> Dude, the dead stick right here. Yep, yep. Got him, got him. Oh! oh hey, oh. oh! See you later. That was the old dead stick. Did you see what that? What the heck? It catches bass too. Catches bass too, baby. Oh, he ripped your tail. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. If I can show you guys all that. Look at all that. Oh, God. I'm going to blur that that's out. The old, that's the old prototype strap. Put on here. What about the old lit? Oh, okay. oh. lizard? No, no, okay. Oh, little girl. No, I can't even. Oh. What about the old tube? Oh, no, I can't show you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Right there. Oh, that's the deal. That's the old sauce daddy. All right, we'll see what we'll see what gives it a bite, gives it a nip, gives it a lick. All right, boys, we're back on the move. I know you guys are like, Flair, you're in a jet-powered kayak, but you're not even using it as a jet-powered kayak. You're using it as a normal one. Listen, Rick, I'm not trying to scare the fish yet. We're not trolling yet. I figured I might as well give it a few casts, get a couple fish on the line, and then we start ripping. See, it's a little breezy, so I'm gonna have to fire it up at some point. My shoulder's already burning. I'll get there, you just be patient. Oh, we're on, boys. We oh, he come off. He come off. Man, he hit it right out, right out the gate. Oh yeah, he done, he done messed up the sauce. You know you want. Oh, oh my God. Come on, Junior. He's on. Got him. He's on. Oh, Largy. Hey, what are you doing, Rick? That's not what we're after. Hey, hey, hey. That's enough of that. You got the old sauce daddy down in the, down in the gull here. Ugh. There it is. See you later, Rick. Well, not what we were after. All right. I think it's time to find the crappie. I think they're a little deeper. So we're going to give it the old dead stick strat. F Mr. Felix, you know him. Felix, old guy Felix. He taught me this. Every time we'd go fishing together, he'd put out a dead stick. And it was usually like a little yellow twister of some sort. And he'd just let it dangle out the back while we had ba full-on bass fish. And he'd almost catch more fish off the dead stick than not. So I think that's gonna be the plan. I'm gonna dead stick this. I'm gonna get the old mini clutch going. Fire up the motor. You guys stay tuned. All right, the whole boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good trolling speed. See, there's no neutral. So this is you, whether you like it or not, that's what you got. All right. Got the old dead stick out. She's fired up. We're cruising, buddy. Yeah, you are. You're home. This is pretty fast. This, this might be a little too fast. It's down. All right. I think that was that's Speedy Gonzalez is what that is. Oh. Get tap back here. Was that a tap? Yeah. Dude, the old, Tony, the old dead stick. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, I got smacked. Oh, hang on. Wait, dead stick. Dead stick. Dead stick. Dead stick. Look, oh, crappie two. Crappie two. Ooh. On the dead stick, buddy. You called it. The, I told you, the old dead stick. Don't ever doubt the dead stick, buddy. Oh, hey, hey. Easy. Easy. Dude. <laughs> you called it. He said the dead they, stick. They catch, them, catch the they, they catch themselves. Oh, Drawing. God, yeah. This thing's a little fast. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a little fast. We got to figure out a way to slow her down. Take take the idle. I wonder if can you, I bet you could turn the idle down. Probably. The old dead stick. You guys were you guys were doubting me. I know you guys are like, there's no way Flair's gonna catch one on the rod. He's not even holding. Look at that, Junior. She caught one. I was getting popped on the on the clutch too. We need to add uh, rod holders to this thing. True. Yeah. There's a, it's a little chaotic right now, but mm -hmm. look at that. Harvest baby. Sheesh. Pile picks. Let's go. Pile picks for days. Got him. We're on. We're on, boys. We on him. Oh, Largy again. What the heck, Rick? Sheesh. They're loving the old swimmer. Come here, Junior. Hey. Calm down now, Rick. Shoo. Look at that. The old Largies are loving the small swimmer. So you can catch anything on this sucker. Literally anything. All right. He's not lunch. But he put up a decent fight. See you later, Ricky. We gotta find them schools of crappy. Oh. We're on. 
We're on, boys. Oh, oh! What? It... Largy again? Really? Really? What's up? Why is this just the Largy Crusher? I don't know. This thing goes hard. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh. I mean, they ain't big, but I'll take them. Look at that, boy. Sheesh. Getting them done dead. Uh -huh. No crappy, though. The largemouth are feasting. Just goes to show, you don't always have to throw the biggest bait in town to catch fish. Now, the larges aren't giant, but there's also not a ton of big largemouth in here. That that right there was about the average size. I mean, we could catch it on a spinner bait. You could catch pretty much any, any bait could catch that size of bass. Sometimes you downsize. Even in the summer months like this, Fishing might be a little bit tough. It's already getting freaking warm out here. I really wish I could use the motor. I mean, that was the whole point, right? You get jet jet powered kayaks. I just, I feel like, I'm trying to think if I, I've got mini bangers. No, I've got mini recons is what it is that, that will actually dive a little deeper than a, than a banger. Something that's got a bigger bill on it. I don't know if it'll be too fast for them. Cause right now, these the baits I'm using are just weighted, and so like they, they'll rise in the water column with, with speed. But if I get, if I put something on that'll actually dive, I might, just might, be able to actually troll. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Although the pink is catching fish, I believe the crappie are down, down in the depths. They're down deep, and I didn't get a jet-powered kayak not to use the jet on the kayak, if that makes sense. So I'll show you what I'm thinking here. Those guys will go down about four foot. I've also got this guy, and he'll go down about six. He's a little big for crappie, but not terrible. Either that or your other option, a normal clutch, and see if the crappie will attach on the back. I mean, they're not that, I mean, they're decently different, but not crazy. I think I could troll this and probably be able to stay down far enough in the water column. So I'm gonna try this, either, either that or what do, you, what do you think? Do you think this or this? Six feet would be good. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's feet. what I'm thinking. Should we, should we go with the deep, the, deep, the, 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 the deeper diver? The speed with a bill. The speed, the bill will help with the speed action. Even the clutch will rise in the water column with speed. So I think we'll do that. All right, boys. It's trolling time. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Remember the old turn? Remember the old turn? All right, bombs away. Oh. Uh-oh. I got grass. Yeah. She was diving deep. Maybe a little too deep. Maybe I should go with the little... Oh, oh, dead sticking. Dead sticking, boy. Crappy. Crappy on the dead stick. Let's go, dude. I'm telling you, the old dead stick is deadly. Dude. As, it's as soon as I cut the motor and slow up. Oh, baby. That's that's what we're after. Right there, son. Sheesh. Why is the dead stick slaying right now? Sheesh. We are harvesting today, boys. I'm excited for this lunch. This is going to be good lunch. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. The old dead stick. All right. We'll do... Uh, I'll try one more time. Hey. Hey. You settle down, Rick. I'll try one more time. If I keep getting grass, then I might I might have to go to something that's a little more shallow. Look at this wood duck. Look at this wood duck. See, we're practicing. The kayak, we're, we're yeah, yeah, the kayak yeah. got him fired up, yeah. All right, well, let's see if we can get going. Stay tuned. All right, I'm going to cruise. Oh, dead stick. Dead stick. We're on with the dead stick. We're on. Another crappie. Giant crappie. Giant. Giant crappie. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my God, what a tank. Dude, what a freaking monster. Monster crappie. Monster crappie. Dude, the old dead stick. It does not fail. The dead stick doesn't fail. Okay. Oh my God, that thing's Dude, we got a mega. I gotta bring this one in, hang on. Grass. Grass. When you're actually trying to fish, you just catch grass. When you're dead sticking it, you catch freaking slab oh my crappie, God, dude. That thing's huge. <laughs> dude. The old Guggen dead stick, son. That's a look at that Mondo. That thing's huge. Look at that Mondo. I so I was like, I basically it's like I just drift to the middle, kill it, and then I just drift and I don't and know. Let it sink. It just goes just hard. Yeah, it goes what? hard. I mean, this is that's, that's a fat crappie. That's a big ass crappie right Holy there, son. Crap. <laughs> oh, lunch gonna be so good. I'm excited. Look at the harvest already, son. Oh my lord, we're gonna have <laughs> such a good lunch. <laughs> 
All right, buddy. Oh, oh, hey, hey, did oh, it. Oh, rip. rip. All right, boys. I'm thinking looking at the fillets here. Maybe maybe one more would do. I think we got about, we're just about there. One more of them do hickeys, and we're <laughs> definitely there. This this guy. Mm -hmm. Undefeated. Undefeated green grub. Green, why did I just say green? Mm -hmm. I, I can see. Pink, pink grub. Undefeated. Yeah. We're on. Okay. We're on, boys. Largy. Sheesh. Come here, Junior. Come on, Rick. Look at that. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I mean, he crushed it. She gone, gone. Little Largy. It's a lucky day, buddy. Well, I'd say we got enough for lunch. We'll see you guys inside. Shoo! All right, we made it to the grocery store, folks. We are going to be making breakfast since we got done early. It's like 10 a.m. I didn't even eat breakfast. Had a little iced coffee and... Went for the crappie dangle. So, we're gonna attempt to do a breakfast hash with fish. I know, could be bad, but I was thought about, I'm like, I go to Chick-fil-A sometimes, and I'll have like, you know, a little hash doohickey with little some chicken. What, yeah, the breakfast bowls? Yeah, yeah. What's the, yeah. what's the difference? So, we're thinking we might keep it simple if they have the right deal. They got, oh yeah, O'Brien's the deal. Oh, Brian, they get the it, one, yeah. but they don't, do they have the square, is that a square cut or no? That's shredded. Shredded, look left. What's that doohickey? Is that, yeah, nope, shredded. Oh, uh, what else you got? Southern style. Southern style hashies. Diced. Yeah, they don't have them with the peppers though. Yeah, we need the... they make them. They make them. I mean, we're at just a local mom and pop yeah, here. They don't have all the. Oh, I oh that. I mean, we can go shredded. Oh, I, shred I it. It's all right. It ain't gonna. As long if that one's got the onions and potatoes, maybe it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, it does. This one has onions, peppers. It'll it'll do what we need. Yeah. Hash browns are hash browns. Ideally, I think I like the the square cube ones a little better, but that one's already got some of the the onions and the peppers. It's just less we have to less we got to deal with. Focus on the fish. So we've never done it before, but we what we are gonna do is get some farm fresh eggs. We go back, feed the animals, take care of those guys. Since we didn't do it earlier this morning, maybe crack a couple quail eggs on top. Since you guys haven't seen us harvest those yet, it's gonna be good. So potatoes, and that has. Onions and peppers. Yep. In it. Okay, so that's good. Oh, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be brecky without some some oh, some, cho some chalky milk. I feel like we need to get a few of these guys. I am a bacon guy. Yeah, the cur you see the those little links. Yo, brown and sir. Should we just do that? Should we just do the brown and <laughs> That's rough. Oh God. You're struggling if that's, you're eating that's these guys. God, yeah. I'll that. be honest, I eat those all the time in college. It's a little on the rougher side of things, I would say. Okay, let's just get real bacon. Okay. Right? Let's do it. Let's do it legit. The hashes are gonna take a while to cook, so you might as well get the right bacon. Do they, where is their bacon? I mean, I assume by this, right? Yeah. Wait, what is this? Wait, what? Sausage strips. It's bacon, we try that. but it's sausage. I think well, that's yeah, the best we combo. We're over here we like, we like, decide. we let's, like bacon better. Let's do both. Okay, sausage strips. Yeah. Never heard of that in my entire life. I'm in. That's a, that's a newbie there. So you got the potatoes, you got the green onions. We'll have the seasoning at the house. Obviously we got chalky milk. You got the eggs at the house. We got the eggs at the house. Fish at the house. Fish at the house. Fish. I don't know how this fish is going to be. We'll be honest with you guys. The thing is, these are such thin fillets. It'll be the breading to f to meat ratio should be really good. It shouldn't be like big soggy chunks of, of fish. I think it'll be good. I think we can mix it up and make it taste pretty decent. We're gonna at least give her a shot again. It's breakfast time, so I figured might might as well go after it. Make some breakfast. So we got the ingredients. We'll see you guys back at the house. Shoo! All right, we're back at the house, folks. Uh, we're talking to Nate. He said he already fed these guys. They're all up to pasture. Okay, so look at Carol. She's she's hanging out. But we're gonna try to grab some eggs. Like I said, we haven't had that quail eggs on camera yet, so we can do that today, as well as getting some of the uh, the chicken eggs and mixing those in into some form of hash. So let's see if the quail got any harvest for us. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that'll do it. Got four. Oh, there's two here. At, well, at least two, two or three. Two. They be laying in the twos. Really. Thanks, quail. Appreciate it. Gonna have a good breakfast because you guys. Excuse me. One. Oh, get off the nest. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Look at that. Okay, we're going to have to do the old shirt pouch. Yeah, that's plenty. Six and seven. Seven and seven? Seven oh, and seven. Oh, that one's hot, dude. Really? It's a steamy egg. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, she, that just came out the pooper. All right. Sorry, ma'am. I apologize. All right. Well, that's, that's, that's what's for breakfast. Plus what we caught in the pond. Besides potatoes, we pretty much grew everything oh, for yeah. this meal. And I guess the pork bacon, or which actually I have bacon from the the pig still, but we'll we'll try the we'll try the old sausage bacon. We'll see if that's worth a shot. If it's good or not, we'll let you guys know. So, anyways, we got the eggs. So you guys are back up in the kitchen. Stay tuned. Shoo! We are back, folks. Look at the harvest. That's actually quite a bit of fish. Them are your bluegills. 
Obviously, these are your bigger crappie. That was big Sheila crappie right there. We got everything laid out to fry the fish, but that's not first. Uh, it's not quite last, but almost last, probably right before you uh, fry the eggs. But we're gonna do cornstarch. These are the farm fresh eggs we just harvested for the egg wash while flour that we will season with some duck seasoning. But we've got Mr. Dell's uh, potatoes right here. Oh, he's got an omelet bacon on here. Look, he's even giving you recipes. So this guy, these are our hashies right here. And then we've got sausage strips, which is in, an interesting concept. It's bacon, it's a sausage. Oh, this is fully cooked? What? Oh, I guess I didn't realize that. Sausage in strips like bacon, that's what they say. It smells like sausage. Yeah. I mean, it'd be all right. So it's fully cooked, so that's not gonna need quite as much time then. So we can do, should we do butter or oil? What do you think? I usually oil. like, I usually do butter, no? Go ahead and throw some hashies in. Oh, God, oh, son of a. All right, yep, yep. Yeah, a lot of times if we're cooking real bacon, you take the grease and put it in there and then, then it's, then that, that's your deal there. So yeah, see, that'll, that'll take a little little minute to cook up. Get them rocking and rolling. You like your, your crispy hashies? Oh, yeah. yeah, you gotta get, you gotta let like bake yep. and then try to give her, get, give her one of them do hickey. So, well, we can start this. I can always keep it warm, but we might as well get her cooking. So this is your pork sausage bacon but it looks seasoned so go ahead and throw this guy on there go ahead and do this scoot these up just a little bit i bet i can get a little fifth guy right down yonder all right those suckers are cooking still have plenty left so we might actually end up doing it. that might just be the app really? a little appetizer actually sure. yeah that might be we got some ducks all meat we can get her start getting the seasoning flowing go ahead and get a little seasoning action out like that now we might even add a little bit of spice some smoked paprika just a little bit of that guy See what he has to say. I'll give you your little old bay seasoning. Not a t not a ton, just a little bit. Like I said, I think it's important to let that crispy up. So if we're gonna let that cook, let that cook. Once we feel like you know maybe you're within 10, 15 minutes of a finished product, we'll fry the fish, fry the eggs, combine it, and see if crappie for breakfast is the deal or not. You guys stay tuned. All right, we got the hashies going. They seem a little potential burnt. Not not bad, but just they need the old flip. Okay. Ah, oh, that's heavy. That's the old pan. I'm trying. Oh god. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, rip. What happened there? She just she was stuck. Dang all right, we're making a hash. Oh, oh what the hell? All right, all right, not enough oil. Okay. Ah, okay. Hey, get back over there. Over there. Okay, this is now. This is this is cooking. Yeah, this is good. Okay, no, I don't need that. It's done. Oh yeah, she's crispy. Oh wow, that's good. Now you see why I have the garage kitchen. Give her a mix. Just mix it around, and then we'll get another. We'll get another crisp going. Ain't a big deal. How hot! Wow! Hmm. Ah. Honestly, not as bad as I thought. Really? Mm-hmm. And we repeat. Tastes more like sausage or bacon. Tastes like sausage. Just give it, give it a second, give it a second, give it a second, give it a second. Give it. Kind of weird. Give me two seconds, two seconds. Yeah. Not bad. It kicks in. Yeah. Now it kind of tastes like bacon. Yeah. Pretty good. Kind of weird. It first. wouldn't be my first pick. No. Definitely not my first pick. We'll take it. So, all right, these hashies are still getting hashed up. You think, what do you think? How much longer do you think those are? Couldn't tell you. Maybe ten more minutes. I don't know. All right, well, let's start frying fish. Let's let's just let's get that going. I know I well I shouldn't say I know. I'll try not to mess that up. You got your fillets. Got just a little bit cornstarch. Don't need a lot. This will help dry it out. Nice little coating of this. Okay, this is the Farm Fresh Egg Wash. Go ahead and throw that in there. Cornstarch helps dry the fish out so that hopefully the egg wash sticks even better. Get a whole bunch of seasoning. Mm -hmm. Like a whole bunch. Yeah, like one of them numbers. Like a lot. Maybe a little Old Bay action. Okay, and a little smoked paprika. Just like that. Get that dirty flour going, boys. You guys know the strap. Oh, she ain't dirty enough, I don't think. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're good. Take your fillets, toss them in the flour. Yeah, big old Mondo. Sheesh. In a little mix. Shake them off. Oh, baby. That's gonna be the deal, buddy. Oh yeah. 
All right, boys, here we go. Fire in the hole. Woo, baby. Mmm. All right, fish are going. Hashes are frying. Bacon's done. What we got to do is cook up some eggs. You guys stay tuned. This is called. It's not gonna be terrible. So we got the hash browns cooked up. This bacon, sausage slash bacon, chopped it up. Sunny side up farm fresh egg. Sunny side up farm fresh quail egg. And then this is a little bite of crappie and bluegill. I think we decided on the round two to make little bites. It's better. These fillets are not bad. Mmm. But that's more of a lunch. This we're supposed to make a little bit nuggy. So you take this. Give her one of these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. Whoa. That's the deal? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. All right, I need a fork. We're gonna go all in. We're gonna get a little bit of everything. Some egg, bacon, hashies, and some fish. This is what a hash is. Just a hash of everything you can find. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Mm-hmm. All together? Yeah. Pretty the, good. The hash browns, they didn't look great. They're amazing. Really? Dude. Oh my gosh, the flavor. This might be the deal. This might be the new daily breakfast. Mmm. Wow. Wow, buddy. Are you doubting it? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. Okay, all right, all right. That one's got a shell in it, so maybe grab that one. <laughs> that one, wait, what? Oh, well, the, the quail old... egg had a little shell. No, I'm telling you, you taking a bite? No. What about just the hash browns? Bacon? Oh, okay. Eggs? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Really? The fish is good on yep. its own. Yeah, by itself. It, 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 looks, it looks bland, but I mean, we season the hell out of it. I don't know why it's so light colored. What do you think? You like the fish. The fish and eggs is surprisingly, it goes well. Yeah. It's not bad, like because it, the small bits don't taste a lot like fish. It's it's just more just like a breading. It tastes like more like chicken, like we said. All right, I think you got That's one of it. everything. The hash brown, bacon, fish, eggs. I'm telling you, you're not gonna be disappointed. You're about to hit Flavor mm. Town. Yeah, Flavor Town. Yeah. The hash browns are, the the hash browns are so good. <laughs> we seasoned them well. Yeah, we seasoned them very well. Mushy, but yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. They're really well seasoned. They're good. I like it. The the flavor's there. That's what I was like. It's gonna be bland. That's mm -hmm. it. It's mm -hmm. it's freaking pow. You know what I'm saying? All right. That's well, we gotta we gotta get Nate in here. Yeah, we we gotta promised him some Nate. breakfast. We gotta we gotta go get Nate and see what he thinks. Stay tuned. <laughs> what are your initial thoughts on the? <clears throat> I don't know. It looks good. It smells good. Okay. So. This is a crappie hash. Okay. You've got hash browns, sausage in the form of bacon, sunny side up egg, fried crappie on top, garnished with a little green onion. Dang, that's fancy. We, we with a spoon. We, that's, all spoon. You, that's all we have for you. Gotta so. scoop it in there. You're trusting. Your thoughts on that guy? That's good. Not bad? It's really good. <laughs> what do you think about the fish? Is it, is that, does it throw you off or can you even tell it's really fish? Honestly, can't really tell. By We're, yourself, you can tell. In fishy. in the in the big gulp, you can't really tell. You can't tell. We figured it's, good. it's common to put like fried chicken in with this, like you go to like Chick Fil A for breakfast, they get chicken. So we try to make it like chicken, not like fish. Yeah. So I think mixed in, I don't think you can really tell. No, you can't. Just I mean, chicken. we got a little quail egg action in there. We got some fish and an egg. So you don't have to buy really hardly any of this. Did you buy what the bacon, potatoes, potatoes, and bacon? That's it. That's it. And we have bacon from our pigs, so potatoes. And if we grew potatoes, you would be in business. Mm -hmm. And this, yeah. then you could have this. That's good. Not bad? Not bad at all. All right. Well, really good. if you guys have fish, morning dangle, you want a little, it's basically brunch now. Crunch of potatoes, some duck seasoning in there, eggs. So fry up that fish like a, like with a chicken. If you want to go buy like a pre-made batter, get like a chicken mix. I'll give it like a, honestly, for the challenge that we had of taking fish for breakfast, probably a nine out of 10 for execution of the fish. The meal could be better. The hash browns could've been a little crispier, could've seasoned it a little bit better. But the idea of having fish for breakfast, we've tried fish for breakfast before, and it's usually not great. We've had catfish and eggs, not good. This is probably the only way that I've ever had fish for breakfast, and felt like it's a breakfast dish. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you on the next one, and peace.